that a circle with a diameter of 250 is etched on the rectangular stainless steel plate. The dimension of the circle and the dimension of the rectangular plate are also provided. We want to know if the plate is subjected to two stresses in the x and y direction. How much would be the change in the diameter of the circle in the ac direction and how much is the change in the thickness? All right, in order to solve this problem, first we need to determine strains in x and y direction. This is the plane stress situation. The element is thin. Stress in the z direction is zero, so we can use the simplified form of plane stress situation. Epsilon x is 1 over e sigma x minus nu sigma y. e is 190 gigapascals, which is equal to 190,000 megapascals. Sigma x is 40 megapascals. Sigma y is 75. Poisson's ratio is 0.3, and that would give us strain equal to 92 micro epsilon. Similar to that, epsilon y is determined from 1 over e multiplied by sigma y minus nu sigma x. Plugging in the numbers would give me epsilon y of 332 micro epsilon. So these are the answers for the first two parts of the problem. What about the shear strain? Is there any shear strain? How much is shear stress? It is not given. There is no shear stress, which means that shear stress is zero, which means that shear strain is zero as, as well. All right, so that is a hidden uh, information in this problem. Now I'm going to use strain transformation equation that you can find it on the equation sheet. First of all, I should know how much should I rotate the element. Um, if I use epsilon n for transforming strain, Epsilon n is associated with the x direction. How much should you rotate from x to get along the ac direction? 45 degree clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. We are not starting from y, we are starting from x. So theta is going to be positive 45 degree. The rest is just plugging in into that strain transformation equation. Epsilon x and y were determined in the previous step. Theta is 45, gamma xy is 0. That would give us strain in the AC direction be 212 micro epsilon. Knowing strain, we can determine how much is the change in the diameter of that circle, which is strain multiplied by the initial diameter. Initial diameter was 250. Multiply that by strain would give us 0 0.053 millimeter. This is a plane stress problem. Plane stress means there is no stress in the z direction. The problem says how much is the change in the thickness of the plate? Do we have zero strain in this problem in the z direction? This is plane stress. Do we have zero strain in this problem? No. In the plane stress problem, we do have strain in the z direction. And this equation gives us the magnitude of strain in that direction. Plug in the values, and then we can determine how much is the strain, which is 182 negative. Negative means that the element is going to get shorter. Multiply that by the initial thickness. That would give us the change in the thickness.